The LDK-90 frame transfer CCD camera was launched at NAB in 1987. Since then, this second generation CCD camera has achieved an enormous success for BTS, who have sold 1,000 cameras all around the world in the first year of production. This demonstration tape has been produced to show the main features of the camera and the high quality of picture performance that it can achieve. Some loss of quality will be experienced by those of you watching this program on domestic tape formats, such as VHS. The second part of the program will look at the new BTS production camera, the LDK900, the world's first CCD production camera, which was launched at NAB in 1988. This is the ENG version of the LDK90, and in particular, the main camera controls, including the menu panel. The gain control has four positions, including normal 0 dB. In the minus position, the gain is reduced by 6 dB for use in good lighting conditions, where an unusually high signal to noise performance can be achieved. The plus and plus plus positions provide high gain for use in poor lighting conditions. Even at maximum gain, the camera has a very acceptable signal to noise performance. Next to the gain switch is the color balance memory selector. The camera has two preset settings for tungsten and daylight, and two selectable memories which can be set for any lighting condition. By pressing a button, the white balance setting for that particular lighting condition is stored in a selected memory. The color balance circuit provides a very wide range of control, and color balance glass filters are not required. As a result, as much as one f-stop of sensitivity can be saved in outside lighting conditions. The LDK90 menu control panel provides the camera operator with instant access to alternative camera setups. Preset controls for gamma, contours, black level and black stretch are provided, together with an exposure control setting. Alternative setting of these controls can be accessed instantly to suit program requirements. These settings would normally be preset at the beginning of a shoot. The exposure control is particularly useful for shooting fast action. It enables clear pictures to be replayed from a VTR for slow or stop motion sequences of high-speed sports action or industrial processes. Finally, the menu panel also includes a unique lighting switch. The settings that are provided, nominal, 50 and 60 hertz, enable slow and 10 cycle variations between the lighting and the TV system frequency to be minimized, particularly when shooting in TL or HMI lighting, or when shooting 50 hertz pictures in 60 hertz countries, or vice versa. Other controls include a color bar selector, and power on off switch. This also has a power save position for use in standby. The camera is made out of rugged, lightweight magnesium alloy and has been specially designed to give the operator that all important view over the camera. This is not only a significant safety feature in outside location work, it also provides all round awareness, essential for smooth operation. One of the specific demands of the camera operators who attended the BTS design workshop was that the camera should have a flat base and that it should be easily equipped with a shoulder pad while still being able to be tripod mounted. Another requirement concerned the viewfinder. This viewfinder is rather special. It is X, Y and Z adjustable and has the performance of that of a precision instrument. It's sharp bright and includes many indicators to help camera operators in their work. These include, as well as the normal on-air tally lights, non-standard working indications such as menu on, high or low gain, and selected color balance memory preset. There's also a white level indicator in the form of a zebra pattern, framing borderline, tape bar, battery low, audio recording level, 
and a flashing end of tape indicator. The range of adapters is impressive. The camera can be equipped for ENG, two EFP modes, and for the ultimate in flexibility, with an onboard recorder via a sandwich adapter. Both Betacam and M2 formats are provided for. In EFP, the camera system can be configured with up to 300 meters of multi-core, or in triax, with up to 2,000 meters of lightweight 14 millimeter cable. In both these modes, full bandwidth red, green, and blue signals are available at the remote control unit or camera base station. In both EFP modes, remote control of operational settings is standard. For multi-core, the compact remote control unit has front panel controls for iris and black level, as well as other controls such as contour selection, gamma selection, master gain switch, individual red, blue gain and black level controls, and exposure control. The Triax system has a comprehensive operational control panel remoted from the base station. This has a conventional mono-knob control for iris and black level, as well as individual red, green and blue gain. The panel also has a similar range of additional operating controls to that of the multi-core version. Gamma, contours, exposure, auto white balance, and a selection of white balance memories. Intercom and extensive monitoring facilities are standard in both versions, as is color bar selection and camera phasing controls. Input selection includes communications, program sound, external video, and genlock. The final addition for EFP work is a large viewfinder. BTS have provided the LDK90 with a very high brightness, high resolution, five inch viewfinder, which can be top or side mounted on the camera and has many indicators and controls to help the operator. This then is the LDK90 camera system from BTS. It's the fastest selling camera in the world and it's the world's first frame transfer CCD camera. Picture quality is outstanding, especially in its resolution against a very bright background and in very low light conditions. Its CCD images are clear, sharp, and free from the usual camera tube characteristics, such as lag, smear, comet tailing, or microphonics. And BTS don't have any of their competitors' problems, red or green streaking. Now the latest addition to the range of BTS CCD cameras, the LDK 900 production camera. Based on the same successful frame transfer CCD sensor used in the LDK-90, the 900 is an advanced production camera intended for studio or outside broadcast work in broadcast television, professional television, business television, universities, training establishments, and in fact anywhere that video pictures provide entertainment or information. The camera has advanced ergonomic features provided to satisfy the demands of those operators who attended the BTS design workshops. All round carrying handles enable the camera to be comfortably transported and safely mounted on its tripod. It's lightweight and compact and has the lowest center of gravity and optical axis of any camera available. Yet it's rugged and strongly built to survive a tough outside broadcast environment. The seven inch high performance viewfinder with its many controls and indicators, has an extensive pan and tilt range. It has a very high brightness and over 700 lines of resolution to suit the most demanding of operators. The LDK900 has been designed with exclusively lightweight triax cable, enabling maximum ease of operation. Up to 2,000 meters of triax may be used without any loss of performance. Full bandwidth red, green and blue signals are available at the base station. The camera head has talkback outputs for the tracker and floor manager in addition to the standard operator's feed. There is a viewfinder signal output for a floor monitor, a teleprompter output, utility power output and a comprehensive range of features to help the operator. 
To accommodate a wide range of lenses, BTS have incorporated a balance adjustment plate in the camera base. This enables quick and accurate balance adjustment to be made when a lens change is required. The lens itself can be changed in seconds and to enable secure and accurate locking, a lens lever is provided. The LDK900 camera head can operate in either standalone mode with local AC power or with its remote base station and operational control panel. In standalone mode, an output of CVBS is provided, as is a multi-wire connection for a portable VTR. Here the camera can be used as a radio linked source in outside broadcast applications. For remote triax operation, a base station is provided. This is a processing unit where signals to and from the camera are multiplexed and demultiplexed from the triax cable. This unit can be connected to the operational control panel and both units are the same as those used by the LDK90 in triax configuration, providing the 900 with the same range of remote controls and facilities. The 900 will also accept additional inputs, such as a teleprompter signal and remote controls such as the filter wheel. The base station itself can provide video output signals to suit every requirement. Composite video, red, green and blue signals and a component YRB signal are all available. This component signal can either be used in an analog component or digital environment. With all these facilities, the LDK900 is a truly professional production camera, suitable for any video application. Its comprehensive communications package and its picture quality of the highest degree will suit the most demanding of production situations, whatever the circumstances. Developed with close cooperation from experienced camera operators from all over the world, the LDK 900 frame transfer CCD camera from BTS brings the benefits of next generation technology to creative and artistic program production. <laughs>